it's your boy Roddy Real Deep Cool. Just got finished laying down a track for y'all that is made up right off the top of the dome. Now the bass wasn't quite right, it was up a little too loud. I should have had it like um, the preamp was a little hot. So I had it down a little bit, then up, and you would have heard a little bit clear. But you ain't hear it clear because I ain't check out the distortion. What the freaking focus right ISA 220? Almost like a guitar, right? You want to play guitar? No, not tonight. It's time to get down with some fragrances. Boy, Roger would be cool. Took off the day. Pipes wasn't working. Yeah, this is what it is. You keep it moving. So I took off, all right? So since I took off, let's go ahead on and play something from the CD of one of these CDs. All right, y'all got me? Here we go. Today while I was out, I shot, yo, let me go out to, um, what are you doing? Let me do a little running around. So I to take care of some existential, existential, existential business. How it's your boy? And once I took care of that, I'm like, yo, let me hop on down to one of my favorite stores. It's called New Life Thrift. How did it's your boy? And what did I get from New Life Thrift today? Thank you, New Life Thrift. We picked up a nice little top that was really tipped it. Oh, I'm wearing the day. All right. And this joint is a nice top by Jeffrey Bain. And the price is, is it? Four dollars. How's your boy? Then I was like, well, you know, I'm on this scarf hunt. So let me find another scarf. I ain't have, I got kind of a, like a red type scarf, but I don't with blue. So I picked this scarf up, made by. Christian Dior. Okay, you see that? And uh, it came with strawberries and clothing with the tag still on it. And it cost me $6. All right, so so far, we $10 in the hole. You know what I'm saying? But because it was discount money, wasn't quite that kind of situation. So I saw this joint right here. I'm like, yeah, this is definitely for the jeans. And for one of my leathers. You know what I mean? A jean and leather holler your boy 100. Who is this made by? I don't think it's made by anybody. Somebody just knitted just together while they're sitting at home doing nothing. So this is made by nobody. So since it's made by nobody, it cost me $2. The total price for all three of these items, because it was a special Monday, because Monday in New Life, you get 10% off the holler your boy. All three of those pieces, eight dollars or something. I forgot. You know what I mean? I mean, it don't matter. It's for the church. And if, if I can buy some, if I can find something in there to buy, I'll let your boy. Now I don't go to church. Y'all know that. You know, no big deal. That's just a decision I made. But that don't mean I ain't got that thing in my heart. You don't worry about that though. You worry about what you need to be doing to make it pop off the way you want it to pop off with that spirituality and you keep it heavenly and keep yourself away from the foolishness. Bars. So anyway, this scarf I picked up from New Life Thrift. Yes, I did. This shirt, New Life Thrift. That's right. That's all for the day, though. Oh, no, no, no. Jeans. Lee Jeans, New Life Thrift. Now my big purchase, if uh, you guys are familiar with British belt, and I'm sure if you're into belts and ties and things like that, you are familiar with British belt. The British belt company, and uh, it's from England, timeless products designed in the heart of England. And I saw this and I just could not pass it up. I had to get it. Sauce leather all the way around. It feels like a suede, but it's all leather. And it's called the Hulk, Hulk, Hulk not, Hulk. Hold on y'all, I'm trying to get this thing together. It's called the Hulk. All right, I got it now. It's called the Hulk, Hulkum. The Hulkum, got the two pouches right here with that copper belt. Ain't that hot? 
that's what got me. The metal work, the metal work is so sexy. And it's all the way around. On the adjustable buckle, right here on the holly to boy. Nice big thick clamp and lamper. Everything looks like it's kind of like a or the copper type tip. Then you just, you know, pinch this and it's out. And then you got your two shadow bag slackers. Holla at your boy on the back. Then you got your compartments in here for your laptop. So it should be big enough for my 13 inch MacBook Pro. And this is all cloth inside here, cotton. And then here you got another little pouch here. Zipper, and there you go. You got the price right there. <laughs> the retail price on this bag is three hundred thirty dollars, and it is still online at British. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all, for three hundred thirty dollars. Okay, I didn't pay three hundred thirty dollars for it because I'm a smart buyer. We gotta get our no quality. Excuse me. My sticker price, clearance, that's my price. Almost had the price. Almost had the price. Beautiful. Y'all know I'm in the bags. I got one more bag coming in from Macy's, my Perry Ellis. And that's my, that's my, that's my suitcase. It's not really a suitcase type bag, but it's like a bag, um, a brief bag, soft leather brief bag by Perry Ellis. That should be coming in soon. They're gonna be shipping that bad boy at the end of the month. It should have been shipped out two months ago, but it went out of stock. And that will be it from a bag collection. I'm done bag hunting, all right? Pat it out. Of course I carry it around my trusty Barney's bag. This is what I carry around when I'm in my brown attire. All right? So that's what I got today for me. Then I went into Nordstrom's and grabbed me a couple samples. One sample is up a truly absolute. The other sample is tobacco oud. Back in the day, I said tobacco oud was horrible. Up in the day, can't wait to get my bottle. Got to have it. Now, the thing about Tom Ford is, do you spend the two fifteen for the fifty, or do you spend the two ninety five for the hundred? In these economic reality of times, it seems as though the fifty would be the better play if you're gonna buy a two. Yes, I hear my people telling me. Come on, man, let's go to Perfume Mania. I got a coupon. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know how long the juice been sitting in somebody's basement or whatever. I'm just not doing it. Unless, and it's kind of, see, I don't, I don't know the, the return policy with that. I got to hurry up, y'all. I got a couple seconds left. I don't know the return policy. See, for instance, I bought Patchouli Absolute. I have it here. I spray it on myself. So now when I get the Patchouli Absolute from Perfume Mania or whatever these discount stores are, and it doesn't smell like this, a nice fresh batch out of the flat cone from Nordstrom's, either one of these, I want to send it back. Yo, how long has the juice been sitting in the refrigerator? You know what I mean? Been sitting down in the basement like a corner store in the hood with orange juice or orange soda. By the time you get orange juice, all flat. By the time you get the juice, all flat. I'm just not doing it, y'all. If you want to continue to buy from Perfume Mania or whatever, that's fine. Buy from discounts, that's fine. I'm just not doing it. I'd rather buy it from somebody I know, and I'm going to ask them, and you better tell me the truth. If you bought it from Perfume Mania or something like that, I don't want it. If you bought it from a retailer, I'm going to buy it from you. It's as simple as that, man. You know? That's what it is. To each his own, to each preference. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If it's working for you, I'm happy for you. I'm not buying from a discount. Uh-uh. All right? It truly absolute smells like Dora. I went over this a long time ago. It smells like Dora. It's really woody. You don't really smell that much patchouli. But it's a lot of woods. And tobacco oud smells like Amber Absolute. I have Amber Absolute. My man sent it to me from overseas, and it's damn near the same thing. I thought it smelled a little bit like Sahara Noir. 
But the hair oil is a little bit sweeter than an uh, Amber Absolute and definitely sweeter than Tobacco Rouge. Both are a get. Now, Brooklyn is a get. Brooklyn doesn't last really, really long, but it's okay. I like Brooklyn, and I got to figure out what the other one I want to get because I'm not going to buy the um, those until I can get the buy two, get a refill free, so I can get three out the deal. When I do that, I'm going to probably buy two 50 mils. Now, I'm not sure if we got to buy 100 mil or 50 mil to get the one free, but whatever it is, I'm going to buy two and get one free. So I'm waiting for that bond promotion to come by. I'm going to grab that. Okay, I got car salt caramel coming in tomorrow from from uh, uh, Indigo Perfumes via Shea and Blue, Dom and Ashley, my peeps. Of course, today, I'm wearing that Uda Leaf, of course. You know what I mean? And she's sending me uh, Amor Palooza. And that's from the Juliet Mod. I had smelled that a long time ago at Men. I told her, let me revisit it. She's sending yesterday's Haze. And I told her, send me something gourmandish. So that should be here tomorrow, hopefully, if it's not snowing too bad in Philly. I then I'm done. Except I saw my man, Big Paul McGowan, met my man in Nemes. I walk in there, and my man is sniffing it up in Nemes. How my boy Paul? Man, it was lovely meeting you and your daughter, man. That was really, really straight vibe, man, that you even recognized me. I ain't recognized you that I looked a couple times. I'm like, oh, man, it's Paul. But, uh, yeah, man, we had a good time, man. Paul picked up the Yami Hollett, your boy. Francis Kirk John, super duper nine cylinder hit variety pack. 195 for that. I almost walked out with it, but there was just three I just couldn't get along with. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to get uh, those three as a sample version and see if I can get to know them and figure out where I can wear them. And then I'll probably pick up that. If not, I was able to pick up Cure Amethyst or Cure Noir. One other. But I gotta go to I gotta go to Neiman to pick some out. So I'm not sure which I'm gonna get. I do think that 195 for the um, for the Francis Kirk John uh, a cylinder set is cool, but you gotta like just about all of it in there, or you know, you know, I think they 10 mil a pop, it's 90 mil all together. But you're gonna get 90 mil of anything for Francis Kirk John at this particular point for 195 dollars So there's a variety pack, it's not bad. But I wish you could pick out the one that you want. It would have been a little bit easier. But uh, my man Paul grabbed it. So Paul, let y'all know what's up with it. Let y'all know what's happening. I know there's a couple of their Forte, the extra Forte with the more juice uh, perfume in it. Uh, there was an oud in there. And they would give you another oud if you want. They'd give you some oud if you want. So you actually get 10 for $200. And 100 mil for $200 of Francis Kirk John. It's just that I don't like the lighter stuff. I like the oops. But we'll see. If not, Cure Noir or Cure. My man Paul, there you go. Paul McGowan just signed on the uh, uh, Fragaholics Worldwide. All right, man, I'm going to get this video up and loaded. So I can house y'all. Y'all heard that track. Y'all listening to the uh, to the Real Deep Cool track from last year, uh, the year before last. That's what it is. I'm going to house your boy. Hope y'all enjoyed that bass. I was just playing around. I figured I'd do a little bit of that. I'll throw some kind of wet. I feel like I want to play the bass instead of the guitar. What? How? What? What you doing? Lock it up and turn off the key. Good night.